uh, that you stick around, watch my videos. Uh, I, I would say it seems about 90 plus percented percent plus percented percent plus percented percent plus percented percent I can barely speak english drink 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 donate e beggar drink booze hound drink 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 donate e beggar drink booze hound drink 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 donate e beggar drink uh happy birthday booze hound hack E beggar. Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, donate. E beggar. Donate. E beggar. Donate. E beggar. Gravy train. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a food channel that's running out of ideas. In the meantime, let's watch some TikTok. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian white guy. Hitler flap. Thank you very much. White guy. Because I'm white. So the Japanese are horrible people. If I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Ah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, I think I've stalled. <laughs> <laughs> If I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Bitch. Uh, I did the uncut raw videos. Whether we win or lose, we drink booze. A British, a British, a British peanut. I have zero knowledge. I'm very uneducated. Is this your full-time job? Yes. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. Hmm. Uh-huh. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Do you enjoy doing food reviews as much or are you bored? I'm bored. I only promote things that I like. The jackery, the jackery, the jackery, the jackery, the jackery. My jackery, the 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 jackery is working its butt off. Blue Eddie, this thing is absolutely amazing. Call me a, a sellout. Screw off. Tangy, mmm, tangy, mmm, tangy, 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 tangy. I'm insane. Double, double. Hi, can I get a medium Pepsi, please? Sorry? Medium Pepsi. There's a sign. There's a sign. There's a sign here saying turtles. Oh. <gasps> oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is my car. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> oh no. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the. Wrapper. I know, I know. I want people okay, okay, to see okay. it. Well, you wanted to eat this in the car. So I think we could have. No. Mm. It would have rocked my car. Mm. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian Hitler flap. You see what I mean? Hitler flap. Thank you very much. Because I'm white. The Chinese are horrible, so the Japanese are horrible people. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Beautiful, 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 beautiful looking lunch. You are good at describing food. You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. How, how else to fix this? You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. <laughs> This is the dumpster that we, your mom and I found you in. Your real name was going to be called Waste Management. <laughs> yeah, I made more fucking money than you ever did. I kind of uh, ended it off with a resolution of the problem. I rectified, rectified, 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 
I rectified, rectified, I can barely speak English. Now, if you're a child, don't fucking watch this. Hey guys, how you doing? I thought I'd shoot a quick vlog. We were doing better before you got here because the purpose of this mess is not to do a quick vlog. So innocently, it is to misdirect, gaslight, lay red herrings, and lie because you screwed up yet again. And we know what your history is. It's like the Japan live stream you did from the airport where you seem to be drunk. I don't know for sure, just that you're always talking about alcohol. You didn't seem quite yourself and you told off everyone and then you apologized for it. And then you took down the Japan live stream and then you took down your apology too. And my posting of the Japan live stream was one of the videos that you put a false copyright strike to, which took my channel down a couple of years ago. And that was one of the ones that came back because I challenged you to bring a lawsuit and you didn't. So you lie all the time, which means you're going to keep on lying right now. So come on, Ken, give it a try. In the back of Rusty once again, it's raining out. Uh, I just finished making a little video clip for the food channel quietly beginning to rename that channel right it's no longer the big channel now you refer to it as the food channel i don't blame you for that and uh i can't tell you where i am but it's raining i was just about to go for a bike ride or i wanted to go for a bike ride but it the weather just keeps getting either really sunny and bright and hot and then flips to this crazy windy... It is natural for the weather to change. It means our environment is alive. And given that you are 57 years of age, you should know by now that the weather changes. So please stop acting so surprised and trying to create this false drama of, oh, wacky, crazy weather here. I don't know what to do, people. And this is you trying to dig yourself out of the hole of being a clickbaiter yet again, while the thumbnail that you posted for this is itself a clickbait because you said i'm trapped in rusty that would be halfway interesting if something went wrong with the locks and you couldn't open the thing you had to phone for help you're not trapped in the vehicle you're just deciding not to go and confront the weather so you tell us that you're trapped and you're not so it's another clickbait rainy weather and uh i don't i technically you know, if I was at home and I wanted to go for a ride in the rain, that, that wouldn't really be a problem. Except for the fact that you're not because your physique tells the tale. And as if we were not paying attention to the material you've been making for the better part of the past year after the Ken and Carol van life fakery failed, you are more of a junk food pig now than you ever were before. And you're not getting even 25% of the action that you used to receive and yet it's that or it's nothing because the Ken and Carol van life thing was a flop and now you go right back to this even though you already told us that you don't want to do these things anymore I just don't want to do them anymore and so now you're telling us that you're riding on the bike because that just fits in with your lying narrative that you're this active guy when really you're just a junk food addicted slob because I'd come back and have a shower and and put on some nice comfy clothes and then go sit and watch TV or something, right? So, but here, you're, you, if you go out and you get all soaked and dirty, you come back to the van and you're, you're stuck in the, in the I'm sure I got a ch uh, clean change of clothes, but uh, it's just not, not, not good that way. So I just finished, uh, so I'm shooting this uh, Saturday the 29th it's about quarter to five and uh hurry up and get started you tired clown because even though we have a reaction here and it's a lot more fun even with that said you're starting to bore me so get this show on the road uh, i guess this morning about eight almost nine hours ago i had my my vlog upload and uh so you're acting right now and you're trying to appear to be innocent and confused and not understanding why everybody doesn't get it that you were not clickbaiting when really you were. So instead of sitting down and having some real talk and saying, yeah, I clickbaited, I'm sorry about it. Uh, I wanted to draw some attention to the vlog channel and I didn't know what to do. So I kind of went overboard and I made a big thing about getting a tube of toothpaste when really we all know it's not a big thing. So... 
Sorry, I, no, he's not gonna do that. He's acting, he's, he's, he's pretending that I don't understand. It's like I didn't do anything dishonest and the problem is with you people. So, I, I got a lot of people calling it clickbait and I see why, I do see why. What an irritating personality Ken has got on him. It is one thing to be condescended to by somebody. It is quite another to be condescended to by somebody who is a dishonest idiot who is full of themselves. I, I, you people are all wrong, and I can understand. You're calling it clickbait. I can see why. I can see why you're making that mistake. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, lay it out early in this reaction. And by the way, if we have to return to this a couple of times before we're done, fine. I just want to let you know I'm leaving the very best part to the last. Okay, so this is why it's clickbait. Ken said he was disappointed and angry, and he selected a grab that showed him dejected, and he didn't give us anything else. It's all about him not getting his favorite brand of toothpaste, which is not anything for an adult or even a teenager or even, you know, you, you wouldn't expect a, a child to get upset over toothpaste very much. I mean, kids like the fruit flavors, there's all kinds to choose from. Um, if for adults, it's all mint, and the one that Ken wants is mint. Uh, it, it, it's ridiculous, and all he gave us was that he was uh, disappointed and angry with the grab at showing him that he was dejected. He gave us nothing else. So it looks like it was serious, because it's coming from, at least on paper, an adult. And when you open up, it's sad music of a quiet garden, and it goes on for quite a long time. So the vibe that he's giving off is that he's been hurt by somebody or something while trying to recover and he's disappointed and angry so something happened to him. It's a total joke uh, because he knows what he's doing. It's like, how do I sell this garbage that I just shot today? Uh, you know, make it clickbait, I'll get some interest. And what he's doing here now is actually more clickbaiting because he just wants activity on his channel because if it's hot, he makes money. So it's just like a pissing contest that he's starting with himself. Like when celebrities start up these fake feuds to their mutual benefit and then they set them aside and laugh, that's what he's doing. So he can get away with that over there on his channel and you can only comment so much before he takes your comment down and bans you from making any more comments. Yet here, we can call his bullshit and the, the claim against him stands. But I, I've... I'm not sure if, I think in the past I've done a couple of clickbait thingies. That is what you call them? How about you call them what they are? Dishonest baits and switches to make you easy money. Instead of like clickbait thingies, he's discounting his own dishonest history. Uh, like on purpose. This was, like I, I think I've talked about this before with you guys as well. I go through my video Sometimes before I go and shoot a video, let me start from the beginning. Before I go and shoot a video, sometimes I think this, I'm going to make a vlog. It's going to be titled this. The thumbnail is going to look like this in my head. And then I go out and shoot the vlog and then things change. So if I had bought that um, uh, toothpaste, if I had found my toothpaste that I love so much. At this point, we have to stop for a moment to note that Ken is not like most people and not in the way of an artistic genius. He is a man-child. Here is a reaction that I did more than three years ago where Ken loses it over spilling a few blueberries. And, I mean, he's in a giant blueberry patch. Uh, he's making a video there and is paid to be there. So it's like, buddy, if you drop a few blueberries, you're entitled because you paid to pick more. You know, as long as you don't destroy the blueberry plants themselves, you can go get more. His body language is that of an angry brat, and he leaves the footage there because he has no self-awareness. And so here he is, about to squawk at us about the toothpaste that I love so much. Uh, come on! That's not an adult talking, that is a man-child talking, and he doesn't get it. It's like he, there's no self-awareness. It's like losing control over the fountain drink, the medium Pepsi. Almost all adults wouldn't do that. 
and he does and he publishes it and he thinks that the person working at that place was the jerk when it was really him losing it over a fountain drink and so now he's losing it over his special brand of toothpaste and for him to share that and say I'm disappointed and angry is ridiculous and clickbait and it's coming from a man-child idiot and it's just insufferable to listen to his arguments because they don't make sense to people who are not man-children themselves. Uh, the video would have been com com called something completely different. But the fact that they've discontinued my favorite... Just look at him! The entitlement and the anger that he applies to some toothpaste is ridiculous. He, he needs a psychiatrist. I mean, could you imagine, like, being his age and being a, a friend of his or an acquaintance, and he wants to sit down and squawk to you about the brand of toothpaste that he likes being taken off the market? What can you say to him? It's like, yeah, I really feel your pain about that. It's not anything for an adult to get upset for, or a teenager, and, like, most children would get over that. It's... He's bananas. Item uh, for dental hygiene. Uh, it was again disappointing and made me angry. He really is getting angry. So you could make the argument that maybe it's not clickbait because this is really his whole world, uh, just like the medium Pepsi, because he's a man child. So maybe he's being legit with this, if not for the fact that I'm going to give you the best part at the end of this reaction. So. Stay for the whole thing, it'll make sense at the end. Well, it already does make sense. It'll make even more sense by the end of this reaction. Um, he really is getting angry over this, and it's going to get e e e even worse. And the thing is, he has no self-awareness. That's the only cool part about the material he makes, is that he doesn't realize what a fool he's making of himself, because he's so wrapped up in himself and these stupid little items. That they would do that. Out of all the different toothpastes that there are in the world, why do that one? This reaction channel is a comedy channel. We are trying to make people laugh, so we ignore the serious things that are going on. And what Ken just said is a man-child applying a serious tone to something that is not significant in any reasonable way. There is inflation going on in Canada right now. The price of groceries keeps going up. The wages do not match them. People are suffering. And there is war going on. And in the midst of all this, Ken is saying, of all the different toothpastes there are in the world, why take away that one? Which is the sort of thing that you would say if a friend or a loved one got involved in an accident. You'd say, of all the people in the world, why this guy? Because he's such a good person. Why? And he's applying this to some toothpaste. And he's getting really adamant about it, and, and he's, he's, he's demanding to know why. And like, you know, some variation on the flavor of mint has been denied to him. And by golly, he's angry about it. That's the one I like the most. So, uh, it was, uh, to me, it wasn't clickbait at all. It... To you, perhaps, because you're an entitled man-child who's been having an easy go of it for a long time, then... Yeah, I guess it's not clickbait, because to you, a tube of toothpaste is really important, and it deserves your anger and scorn. Yet, as far as the title and the thumbnail are concerned, yeah, it's still clickbait. I mean, you're losing on both ends here, goofball. It seems like it's clickbaity. Uh, to me, clickbait is why I put a... Um... Our Ken is now going to indulge in moral relativism. And if you don't know what it is, let me explain. Let's say you get busted for arson and you burn down a whole bunch of houses. And when you're at your own criminal trial, your defense lawyer says, Well, my client always waited until the houses were empty. So, what are you saying? That he's not all that bad of a guy because he could have killed everybody while burning the houses down? So instead of doing that, he waited till they were gone, then he enjoyed himself burning the houses down and didn't hurt anybody. He just destroyed property. So that means he's not all that bad of a guy. And that's what Ken's doing here. So he's going to say, let's say I do a picture of Rusty Smash to Smithereens, and I say, oh, look what happened, and you go in there and nothing happened. 
Well, that doesn't mean that he doesn't do clickbait. I mean, it was a couple of years ago. A real tornado went through Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Ken put a picture from the CBC News on there and said, Oh, look, look, look at my neighborhood. And people believed him. They were putting comments there. Oh, <laughs> prayer is for Ken. And oh, I hope your family is okay. It never went anywhere near the shack in the Elf Village. That's the type of person he is because he knows it means easy money. A wrecked van like rusty go online look up smashed uh 2011 burgundy uh chrysler town and country find a smashed up one of those put that as my thumbnail and put oh my god it happened that would be clickbait because it didn't actually happen and i drew you in with a false thumbnail and a false title so to me that's clickbait that's like the worst kind of clickbait and i get hooked on that too like sometimes you, the, some of those disaster videos uh there was one that i really wanted to watch and i got so mad because the the actual thumbnail was showed this whole building falling over and uh so i i think it was like a, i'm not sure if it was a mudslide or whatever so the thumbnail was of this and i watched the whole video from beginning to end and that image never appeared in the in the uh, video so to me that's clickbait like i said in the video that uh you know i was disappointed and angry over what ken a tube of toothpaste you didn't tell us it was over a tube of toothpaste when a 57 year old adult who is from a very civilized country and who has a lot of electronic gear with him says that he's disappointed and angry we expect that you have something serious to talk about and you didn't give us what it was so when you lead with a thumbnail and a title such as that we expect something serious and that's clickbait because they went in there and it was something silly so that's what i titled the video which means it's not clickbait people such as ken are insufferable to deal with can you imagine trying to work with this guy the way he talks he insist that because he said he was disappointed and angry that means it's for real and it's not clickbait what people such as ken do is they take a tiny bit of truth and they mix it one part truth and nine part lies and then they sit there and look at you and say it's the truth when it is not and because he takes a uh, still from his own footage and he's looking all dejected and stuff that wasn't the moment when he was standing there in the store and trying to find his toothpaste so he found a moment where he looked really dejected grabbed that used that along with the title and the other graphics on the thumbnail to create a feeling that there was something serious happening that made him disappointed and angry exclamation 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 then you go in with the sad music in the garden and you find out later it's toothpaste and the thumbnail is an image of me from my video i didn't make it up i didn't say hey carol let's do this and, and you take a picture of me um i don't know in some angry uh, position and uh so i don't feel at all that it was clickbait and i appreciate every single person what Ken is trying to do here is something that was written about a long time ago in a play by Shakespeare. And here is the quote. To damn with faint praise. Close quote. What it means is you give somebody a really weak compliment and then you go on to tell them that they're wrong and that they're an idiot. So when Ken is saying, like, I totally appreciate your comments. However, you're all wrong and you're idiots. I can see where... You might have thought it was clickbait, yet you're all wrong. I can get it. I can uh, appreciate where you went wrong. You made a wrong turn. You're totally wrong with what you're saying. Uh, I can understand it. I appreciate it. You're wrong. It's not clickbait. I'm right. You're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I really appreciate you. It's so amazing that you shared your comments, even though you're wrong and you're idiots. I really appreciate them the same. Who does he think he's kidding? It's clickbait. By the way, I'm a genius. Um, how about you uh, reward me by joining the channel? It's a dollar ninety nine a month. What are you gonna do with a dollar ninety nine if you dig the channel? Join the channel. It helps us get in the algorithm. We get more people checking out what we do here. Um, this is more than just 
laughing at the mistakes that Ken makes and his really weak material, he's like an object lesson of how dishonest people try to get things done, and that's something extra that we can also laugh at. How many people commented on that video? Comments. You know, I have to go to content, and then this one. So, the video prior to this one, which is the man changes beside my car, it got 86 uh, comments. This has got 98. Although I, you know, I, I try to comment back to everybody, so a lot of those comments are mine. Um, and then depending on if that person and I engage further, that obviously adds more comments. But uh, so there was, um, I think it was, was it Jessica? I can't remember if it was Jessica. Hang on. So one of the supporters who's been in my video or been watching my videos for over two years, I've been a subscriber for over two years. So again, I appreciate you guys immensely. I appreciate you guys immensely. I appreciate you guys immensely. If you really did, then you wouldn't lie to the people you say you care about because that shows that you don't care about them and you don't respect them either and given that you have so much money you shouldn't lie to them and say you're barely getting by and you keep asking all the time you keep saying I need support and you're always talking about the vans falling apart and you always mention the dollar amount and then you say please support me I need your support you don't appreciate anybody why not give some things away during a live stream instead of going in and cutting it off at exactly one hour. Oh, I appreciate you so much. It's like you're there because you got people paying to be members and then they get to comment if they are members. Otherwise, they cannot comment. And 25% of the time, you don't even show up for it. Uh, that you stick around, watch my videos. Uh, I, I would say it seems about 90 plus percented percent plus percented percent plus percented percent plus percented percent I can barely speak English plus percented percent of you either thought it was funny or showed your support in the fact that you said oh you know even though some of you called it clickbait you're saying great footage or you said clickbait lol or I fell for it like you guys are like the true idiots dupes morons fools because while well, you can fool all of the people some of the time some of the people all of the time and you can't fool all of the people all of the time the ones that you can fool all of the time those are your audience members and they can't think for themselves and they believe you when you tell them I'm barely getting by I need your support while you're spending tons of money in front of them traveling stuffing yourself with food writing it all off and you still say ah oh, Rusty needs another fix I need your support send me money and they do it those are the idiots Who supporters Who supporters Who supporters Who supporters Who supporters of what I do on this channel uh, Oh, that Jersey girl. So Jersey girl, 1968, she was just saying that, you know, regardless of the topic, we're going to watch your videos. That is correct. And those are the people who do not have lives. If Ken wants to go to the dump and run the camera while he throws garbage away, they're going to watch. Same thing if he wants to go to Canadian Tire and pick up a few things while the camera is running. And they do not appreciate the fact that if they threw things away at the dump or if they went to Canadian Tire to get things and ran the camera, Ken would not give them the time of day. And if they asked him, he would say, how much are you going to pay me, princess? Fuck off. That's what he would tell them. If they said, this is what's going on in my life, he said, I don't care. I don't care. What, you want me to pay for it too? Those are the people who will follow Ken's garbage and will pay him extra for it. And I this left a big comment back to her and I say false it is false I have a thing called analytics so one of the things uh, YouTube shows you is the last 10 videos that you've uploaded it's always comparing your latest video to the last 10 videos the last nine videos uh, that you've produced and if you launch a video 
and it goes straight to number 10 out of being the most watched or, or sorry the least watched then you know you know maybe i shouldn't do that kind of video again or you look at it and you say well maybe it was the thumbnail maybe it was the title uh again it's all about the title and the thumbnail like you guys didn't watch the video and say this is clickbait you what you you saw the title you saw the thumbnail you clicked the video and you watched it and again the awesome supporters of my channel watched the whole video to find out what happened and you guys found out what happened i lost my favorite toothpaste but i gave you awesome footage our ken is living in his own little world on a five point scale going from dog shit poor passable good and awesome his footage of two stores while he's hunting for toothpaste is in the dog shit category and he thinks it's well yeah, wait, wait a minute let, let, let's get jp in here Kim Tomic, you are an amazing YouTuber, and it doesn't matter if it is footage of you hunting for vinegar packets in a paper bag, or hunting for toothpaste in stores. I will sit and watch it for hours. I really will. Uh, the, uh going shopping again, which which you guys really like. Do you see what I mean about his audience members? That is what you get after being big for a while with a fad and then when the fad is over at least for you because you gave up on it because cravecon was a failure and he didn't want to keep working on it he just took his ball and went home then you end up with a small amount of that audience hanging around who imagine that you are their friend in some way and so if yeah if you're gonna go shopping they will follow that only works for most people if it's a big celebrity so let's say i don't know brad pitt maybe it would be fun to watch brad pitt go get groceries or um i don't know britney spears it might be funny to watch her go to the hardware store or something like that ken has never done anything to pay attention to him in that way he just wrote a fad for a time and for him the fad is over so he has a small audience left that will follow him to the grocery store for the rest of us not so much really and then I kind of uh, ended it off with a resolution of the problem. There was no problem, at least not for any reasonable adult or most minors, which was the flavor of your toothpaste. That was just stupid bullshit, worthless content, and you decided to add some clickbait to get people to pay attention to it. There wasn't anything else going on. And then I kind of uh, ended it off with a resolution of the problem. I rectified, rectified, 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 I rectified, rectified. Can barely speak English. I rectified, rectified my own problem by looking up online that was my first instinct as soon as i as soon as the guy told me it's discontinued i'm like oh my god if i get home holy toledo ken if you are not following a trend like the hack you are such as funny cat videos or junk food in the car or stealth camping then aside from those you are so boring go on the computer there might be some company out there that's like selling off their last box that they have and buy all of it right so i i didn't find it, it doesn't exist anymore it's all gone i can't again carol sometimes buys these things these things on sale so we might have had like four tubes of that toothpaste in our closet what is wrong with you and what is wrong with your fans why not just go take up golf and get off the platform what kind of a story is this? Sometimes Carol gets things and she gets them on sale and we have a lot of them and then we use them and then we need to go get some more and I thought there was more and we didn't have any more so I went to the store and I couldn't find my brand of mint toothpaste and so I had to get another mint toothpaste instead. Over the last year and it could have been last year that it became um, discontinued and now that I'm looking for it of course, it's been um, all wiped out out of the stores and online. So I found a tartar fighting with a similar flavor. If ever there was a time to use the old cliche, get a life, it is now. Ken Domic 
get a life, please, and stop sharing stories about your mint toothpaste being out of stock, so you had to get another mint toothpaste to replace it. Just stop publishing that material. ...to it, but it's a whitener, so my teeth might get whitened, and uh, hopefully it's the same, or very close to the same flavor, and it is, I'll probably buy another four, because you have to buy four at a time. So here's my example I, I sent uh, to that young lady, Jersey. Uh, there it is, okay. So in the first eight hours and 43 minutes, it's showing you the 10 videos and how well they did in that time. So I'm so disappointed and angry. In the first eight hours and 48 minutes, this is called nine hours, it's easier. In the first nine hours, it got 4,300 views. Awesome. The worst video that was released was called A Fishy Situation. So I'm thinking it was the thumbnail and, and possibly the title that didn't make you guys watch the video. The next one in num number ninth place was uh, let's get some anchovies, shrimp, scallops, and salmon. That got um, 1,500 views. Let's go to number two. What was the number two video that you guys watched? So what's wrong with Rusty now with question uh, mark? And again, my arm through the window and I'm doing this. What kind of a loser follows this material? It is garbage. And he's talking about how many clicks the garbage is getting. It's like shit on top of shit with this material. Yes. And again, that was just a stolen... I tried to only steal uh, a, a still image from the video. I don't usually try to do, you know, the cutout of me and all that stuff like I do on the other channel. I try really hard to just grab an, an image from the video. And that way my thumbnails aren't really clickbaity. Um, and then I just try to title it the best thing I can possibly do. And again, uh, you know, what's wrong with Rusty now? Because there were other th new things wrong or whatever. And then trapped in a stealth camp. Just so you don't get confused, even though the one that we are reacting to right now is having the title of Trapped in a Stealth Camper talking about clickbait, it was about a week prior to that one that Ken did another one where he said he was trapped in a stealth camper. And the worst thing about both of those titles is that he refers to his fake prop vehicle that he got to make him seem to be like a real stealth camper. He refers to that prop vehicle as a stealth camper, which is also dishonest. So, you know, he's got... Like, in each time he says he's trapped, it's not really trapped. Like, Ken sees a poodle or a tumbleweed going by, and he's, Oh, I can't leave the van for that! And, and I'm afraid. Oh, wow. His material is just so bad everywhere. Like, he goes back to his vlog channel, and it's like a tower of crap. Retire already. Please and thanks. So that was kind of fun. That got 2,400 um, views. So when you compare number two to number one, it does matter. Like people say, like she said, it doesn't matter what you name your views. We will be here no matter what the topic. And that is not true. That is true. Ken continues to have a smaller, loyal audience. And what he's about to do is complain that the clicks are not good enough for him. Just by the proof in the pudding right there. Yeah, a huge, a huge range. 1,200 or 4,300? What would you rather have? How many views would you rather have? That was a cloying and rhetorical question. Of course, everybody wants the more successful results. So what is Ken saying here? I want better clicks, so instead of making good content, I resort to clickbait, so that justifies it? What garbage. Uh, and I guess if you wanted to look at the other thing too, is you could look at the, the likes and dislikes portion of it. So uh, hang on, there are only three minutes of Ken footage left to react to. I know it's boring, you know, and remember, I'm going to save the best to the last. That's, I'll, I'll tell you right now, the, the fishy situation got 284 likes and 56 dislikes. Now, if you go through the last, let's say, 50 to 100 videos, I get around the same dislikes because I have like an army of people that don't like me and don't like my videos. That is bullshit. 
you currently have as of today, I'm finishing work on this today, August 2nd, 2023, your subscribers are on paper 579,000. And the people who give you a thumbs down are not a small army. They are your former fans who are disappointed with the garbage that you're making now. And so if they come by for anything, it's just a check, then leave you a thumbs down. There isn't people who put the effort in who weren't fans to begin with. You've been disappointing people over the years. 579,000 subscribers and on average you're getting around 20k clicks. And Larry the Canadian Stud Muffin has been keeping track of your dislikes. It's a heck of a lot more than a steady 54 across the board. You're getting more dislikes to likes on your so-called big channel, which is now the small food channel that you've made a mess of because now you're removing Carol from the logo for that channel. And it's not like I'm responsible for the army. There are other reactors too. So they give me 56 uh, dislikes every single video approximately. It's, it, it's either, it, it goes up and down. Of course, this new one, uh, what what really cool is all my amazing supporters gave me 397 likes uh, on the I'm so disappointed and angry. Let's call it the toothpaste video. Exactly what you said there. Instead of calling it I'm all disappointed and angry, you should have called it the toothpaste video. And if you would have called it the toothpaste video, then nobody would have cared about the toothpaste video because it's not exciting or fun. You sold it with clickbait. That's what you should have called it. That's really what it was. It wasn't you hurt and you trying to recover from something. It was just you and toothpaste. I am a genius. Would you guys please reward my genius by joining the channel? It's only $9.99 a month. There's no contract. You get the cool custom emojis. You help push this thing into the algorithm. And so we get more clicks here. Uh, so you guys gave me 397 likes which is really good for a vlog i don't think i got 300 okay the uh, what's wrong with rusty now i got 415 likes remember that this is also what ken looks like after he makes yet another rusty video complaining about a repair and mentioning the dollar amounts here i i said that rusty needs help yeah more patreon support more patreon yeah yeah more money he doesn't need any help he bought a brand new volkswagen ass after he bought the Volkswagen Tiguan brand new then he realized oh wait a minute the Volkswagen ass is a little too rich to do this stealth camper thing with so he got rusty as a prop there's no problem affording it he pays for his bills this is just extra drama as long as things are falling off the van he makes content out of it mentions the money he has to spend and it becomes more than just a prop it becomes an inspiration for stupid people to give him money. Ooh, uh, trapped in the stealth camper. That got 534 likes, and again, 67 dislikes. So again, there's, there's a small army. More like there's a small amount of energy being put into the content that Ken makes. He got drunk, and he said he doesn't want to do these things anymore. I just don't want to do them anymore. Then, he tried to force the Ken and Carol fake van life on his audience and it didn't work. So now he can either just trash it and be out the money. No, he goes back to it and he lies and carries on and pretends like he wants to be doing this. And that, you know, if there's people that don't like him, they're just haters. The person that's creating the dislikes is Ken himself. And he's going to go on and give a fake argument like he enjoys the the thumbs down and somehow helping him it's not the thing that helps him is getting in there and discussing things that's the commentary that helps him yes it does he's always trying to get his audience to fight with themselves over stupid questions it makes the channel hot you get more clicks and more views if you just leave him a thumbs down that does hurt him because the algorithm is going to push shit into the system that people can't stand because it turns everybody off on the platform. It doesn't help the advertisers. The thumbs down, that's the thing to do. Don't go in there and argue with Ken because that does help. Me of people that love to watch my videos just to hit that thumbs down button, which is awesome because I always get 
a reaction out of them. That first of all, they're watching the video. Then I'm getting a reaction out of them. They usually leave a comment. Uh, so, so thank you to everybody. And again, because there were a few people that were either didn't understand why I named it the way I named it, even though again I don't think it's clickbait. So, but I got about 91 dislikes to the 397 likes, and the. Yeah, the stealth camper, uh, trapped in the stealth camper, got 534 likes and 67 dislikes. So I definitely got about 30 dislikes more because, again, people thought I did clickbait, which I didn't. Yes, you did. And not only did you do the clickbait, you have a history of doing it. So that makes your argument even more weak. We have a proven history of you doing clickbait. You just did it again. And I'm saving the best to last for this reaction so stick with it i'm sticking to my guns and again i appreciate the tons of amazing comments some of them are funny uh again i love reading your comments because you guys are hilarious in some of your comments uh this person who is this notorious dbc1 he's been a subscriber for over two years and he just left a comment saying Thanks for the regular awesome content, Ken. Sending warm wishes from Ohio. You're welcome. And thank you very much for watching my videos. All right, guys. I just wanted to make sure I got a vlog out to you guys. I'm probably going to have to blur these windows so you guys can't see anything behind me. And then you'll get tipped off where I am. Because this is going to go at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'll still be here at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And uh, I have to shoot this for 24 hours. Then i got to shoot another video on my way home. And I gotta, I'll probably be home late tomorrow night. So wish me well. I wish you well. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. That is all the Ken footage we have. Yet remember when I said I was saving the best to last? Here it comes. When Ken says he's disappointed and angry, the very next thing that he does is he giggles. Then he says, I'm not going home without my toothpaste. And then he does his little laugh. <coughs> here it is. Here we go. Please, please, please be here. Come on. Why doesn't anybody carry it? What the hell? What the hey? I am so disappointed and angry <laughs> that nobody carries my toothpaste. What the heck? That's it. I'm not going home until I get my toothpaste. <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. Oh. It is impossible to be disappointed and angry for the loss of a favorite flavor of toothpaste for any reasonable adult, especially when mint can be had from other brands, yet even less so when your first reactions are to giggle and laugh for it. Therefore, it was clickbait. You put that garbage together after the fact just because you uttered the words disappointed and angry. You put exclamations red and black together, sad music in a garden at the start, and a shot of yourself appearing dejected. It was totally manipulative and fake to do. Ken, sometimes you make it too easy. Now get the fuck out of here. Is that it? That's it. British penis. <laughs> Duddle, duddle. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. Tangy.